Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to import a graphic into the Silhouette Cameo software. We're going to trace it, we're going to cut it out and that will be our vinyl. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Right, well I've had a customer of mine who lives in Canada and he's asked me to uh, recreate his logo on a white vinyl for him to apply to his own t-shirt so I'm going to do that for him but first of all we're going to bring his image in and we're going to install it in uh, Silhouette Cameo. I haven't got the cut lines on nothing at the moment so what we're going to do is to create the cut lines we'll then uh, cut the item out in uh, a clothing vinyl and we'll weed it out and that will be ready then for to ship off to him. He's going to want 10 of these but we're going to just show you one. So let's get in front of the computer and let's start having a look and importing this graphic into the Silhouette Cameo software. Right, so first of all, we're going to fire up the Silhouette Studio software. And as you can see, we're using uh, version 4.1 in this instance. This may change depending on what version and what time you're actually viewing this video. So first of all, we're going to set our page uh, to the size of the actual vinyl we've got. This here is the uh, 12 by 12 template here. And we're going to change that by going over to here and I'm going to change that to 19.5 inches, which is roughly 500 millimeters. And what you'll do, what that will do, is give us a 19.5 and a 12 inch uh, page there. So that's ideal for what we want. The simple reason why I'm doing that is because I buy my sheets in 330 millimeters by 500 millimeters in cut lengths from my supplier, and that's exactly what I've got on the screen here now. So what I'm going to do now is to go to File and merge, find my desktop, locate the image on my desktop, and just click OK, and that will install it onto the page. This has come directly from the client, so I've had no design elements to do in this whatsoever. And what we do then is we want to bring that obviously to the size of the page and the graphic that we actually want. So I'm gonna click on it once, and if you grab hold of a diagonal, you can actually pull it in and retain the aspect ratio of the image without stretching it or pulling it and then just drag it back onto the page until we're within the red border line there which is the cut border so whatever you do in your design elements you want to be within that cut line so as you can see there the size of the actual box there is 10.7 I'm probably looking at a, a graphic of maybe 10 inches uh, across the chest area so we'll just bring that down maybe to 10 and a half inches there we go, that's as near as damn it. So I'm just going to locate that on the page at the top, maybe about there somewhere. And then click outside the box. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit using the zoom in tool. And just drag the mouse bar up the page. And what we really want to do now is to trace this complete item and create our cut line. So what we do, we go over to our right menu bar down the side there. And you're looking for the open trace panel as you can see which is highlighted in blue there and just click once on that and that opens up the trace window here as you can see and what we're going to do then is to select the trace area so we click on that icon once you've left clicked on that you then take your mouse over to your image now what I'm doing here that little hat cross hatch there is my mouse and what I want to do is to go just outside the whole of the image and hold the left mouse button down and then drag a box around all parts of the image you want to be traced. And as you can see, I'm covering everything there and I'm going to let my finger off now and let go. Now in this case, everything's filled in nicely, so I'm happy with that. The image looks like it's going to cut out well. We've got good definition. And all we want to do now is to trace, click the trace icon down here, not trace outer edge, otherwise that will just do the outer edge. We want to trace everything inside of the letters and everything. So we click on the trace icon, that's it. You will see a red line has appeared around everything on our image. And all I want to do now is to go back onto there with the mouse and drag away. And as you can see, there's the two separate entities. One is our original image and one is the cut lines now which we've just created there. So what I'm gonna do is click on the image and then right click on it and you can actually delete that now and get rid of it which I've just done there. So now we've got a perfect representation cut line of our image. So all I'm going to do now is just locate that at the top of the page. And 
all we need to do now is to just duplicate that so that we can uh, utilize the rest of the page. I'm just going to reduce the size of that so we can see the whole page again by zooming out. There we go. I'll just bring that up to the middle so I can see what I'm doing. And with our image, when it turns to a hand, I'm just going to hold my mouse, the right button down, and then click duplicate. And as you can see, we've created another copy, which we just want to bring down. And then right click again, duplicate, bring it down again. And I may, if I'm lucky, get four on this sheet. And then right click again and duplicate. And there you go, we've got four graphics on the page. Now, if I want to line them all up so that they're all in a straight line, as you can see, they're all zigzagged all over the place at the moment. Click on the first one, hold the shift button down on the keyboard, which is there. And while you're holding the shift button down, click on the next image and the next one, still holding that button down, and the next one like that. And all four become active. What you then want to do is to put your mouse over this little icon up here, and that opens up another window. And as you can see, you've got a center line going through all the images there. So if we click on that one, what should happen? You should see them all jiggle into line. There we go. And they've all lined themselves up perfectly down the center of our page. Now they are all still independent, as you can see like that. I can click on each one of them independently. If I were to group them all together, just come outside the box, drag a box, hold the left mouse button down, and as you drag a box, you can see they all become inactive, like that. And then once you've covered everything you want there, go back onto one of the boxes and right click, and then you can click group. And now all these items will move together, as you can see there, all lined up, and that is how you actually group an item. If I wanted to put them in their individual groups again, all I would do was right click on that big box, and then ungroup, and then they all go back into their irrespective individual items. Now, some of you have expressed an interest in separating stuff. If you wanted to break stuff up on a graphic, for example, I'm going to show you that first of all. And all I'm going to do is just leave one of these on the page for the moment. I'm going to take these ones off. Let's get them off of that way. And just bring this one into the center. Now, let's just say, for example, I wanted to have this in one color, the outer band, the word elite in one color, and the word carpet care in a different color. So you need to know how to break these uh, a graphic up, for example. All I'll do there is just click on the item with the left mouse button to activate it so you get this box around it. While I'm still on there, now right click, and then you'll come down and you'll see Release Compound Path. And you click on that. Now once you've done that, once you've released the compound path, every one of these items now becomes an individual element. You can see, look, I'm clicking on the T's there. I'm clicking on the little C, the A. Now, when you come to small letters like A, for example, let me just zoom in. I was going to zoom right in on that. You've even got the little inner part, so every item becomes separate. Like there's the R, for example, and if I click inside the R, you've got the little inner cut of the R. So everything here is now an independent thing. So I'm just going to zoom out a minute. And all we've done there, as I said, is click Release Compound Path. So if I zoom out to there, now what I want to do is to put these now in their groups so that I can move them about, because everything's separate. So all I'm going to do, let's say the outer box, which is the, uh, the, 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 work, the, the big curve around the outside. If I just move that slowly, look, you can see that is one curve. But I've also got that little bit there I missed. So just so that I'll put it back in the same place, I'm just going to click on the uh, Move Back tool or the Undo tool so that I know that I also need that little one there activated, there, as you can see. So all I'm going to do is hold the Shift button down again, because I want that one activated, and I want this big one activated. And then I'm going to right click, now that I've taken my finger off the Shift control, right click and group. And what I should have done there now is literally just grouped all that item in one go, as you can see, look, everything's in one so I've actually joined everything what I need on that outer colour. I'm just going to hit the back arrow up there so that I can put that back in its original position. So that is now that in one colour. Now I've got the word elite. So everything there, I've got to hold the mouse. Well, in fact, if I move that out of the way, it makes life a bit easier. So I can now drag a box using the left mouse button down 
and then drag a box over just the letters that I want here as you can see I've just done that and then go into the box again right click and then you'll group them items together and now as you can see that word is now being grouped as well so we've done two lots now now we've got the word carpet and care so again we hold the left mouse button down and we drag a box over everything there and then we right click on it and then group that lot as well and you should find everything now is a group there as well so we've grouped everything now and all we need to do then is to line everything back up again and if you want to make sure everything's lined up as it was you can bring the image back onto the page I did delete it but you can bring that back onto the page as you can see right so we've got everything lined up where it needs to be so I don't need that drawing anymore you can pull it out of the way again right click on it and delete it and there's our cut line with everything itemized so we've got the word elite in one color we've got the word carpet care in another color and we've got the outline which is that remaining bit there in a separate color again if we want so let me just pull that back in the middle right so how do we then get this in the different colors so all I would do here for example let's let's just first of all group everything so I want to move it all so I'm going to drag a mouse around everything right click on it and just group it temporarily just bring it to the top of the page up there for example and now I'll ungroup it again so click on it once and then ungroup it so everything's back at its individual things there as you can see there's one the word carpet and the word elite all separate so now we've got them all separate again now if we go over to the send icon at the top there because we're going to print this off now now if we only want to print off the word elite what you can do you can see they're in dark red at the moment so we only want the word elite but we click on the word carpet because we don't want to cut that out and then you click no cut now as you can see it's gone faded because that means it won't cut it now if we click on the big item which is the outside and then click no cut that's gone faded as well so the only word that will cut out will be the word elite so if I went to cut that now I haven't had to move anything I've just cut the word elite out you turn your silhouette cameo cutter on which I've just done there you click send and then you'd send it mirrored because this is a t-shirt vinyl so you'd have to send it mirrored I'm not going to do that in the moment let's just close that down so once I've cut that out in one color you then go back to your image and then you click the one below it which is the carpet we want to cut that word out now and now we click cut that comes back dark we want to turn the elite off so we click on that and then click no cut and we leave the other one no cut so the only one that's going to cut out now is the word carpet care you see so that is how you then would cut out and then you put a different color sheet of vinyl in and then you'd cut that one out as well and once we've done that you would then turn that one off by clicking on it then clicking no cut and then the last one will be the white line so we click on that one and then we click cut and as you can see that one comes up dark so that when you cut out that is how you would cut it out now what I tend to do is you can waste a lot of paper if you've got a big image uh, and, and it's quite spread out all the different colors so all I basically do is I would move that off the page and I'm not really worried about it so I'd move it off the page I'd move that one off the page or let's say I wanted the word elite I'd move that off the page and if I was doing about five t-shirt and I'll bring that to the top of the page like that take it back to the design window and if I was doing more than one I'd right click on it and then copy or duplicate and that means I can put another one below it and then duplicate again if I wanted to so that this way by doing it this way although you've got all the compound elements individually you can cut more out in less space so to speak if you understand what I'm saying so that is how you split up a graphic by using the release compound path and then using the drag and drop with your mouse to uh, basically alter the colors of individual items in one certain graphic there so anyway that I hope that was handy for you but all I'm going to do is just delete all that now and I'm going to bring back on my other three images which we'd already left on the side there and basically as soon as you move something off the page it won't cut it anymore so if you don't use the other way I've told you where you actually use the no cut but icon 
just drag it off the page and it won't cut it anyway, so that's that. So because I've only got three there and I want one more on now, I'm just gonna right click on that and duplicate, drag that one down. And again, they're all over the place at the moment, so I'm just gonna click on it, hold the shift button down, click on the one below, click on the one below and the one below, and then go to our little tool up there, centralize, and they all come into the middle. And I'm happy with that. There you go. So I just bring them into the center of the page. So we're back to where we was now. So I've got my four icons. I'll click the send button. I've already set up with my material. Because it's dark, it doesn't matter about the no cut there. Everything's dark on there, dark red. So everything's going to cut okay. Heat transfer, I've got it on number three. Speed of eight, force of seven. And I'm doing two passes on this. So I'll click the word send. And I'm going to send this mirrored because we're doing t-shirt vinyl and we need to click it over. So let's load the Cameo now. So all I've got here is my white vinyl. I'm putting it with the adhesive side up in our large uh, sheet which we've got. Load media. Shut that down. Send mirrored as I said. And that now will start cutting out our exact pattern what we got on the screen there. So I'll see you in a minute. There we go, one more little bit to take out on the border. And I'm sure you can see that uh, that's cut that graphic out absolutely lovely there. And all the details are just as it should be. And all I've got to do now is to cut out the rest of them. So uh, I'm gonna carry on doing that. Well, I hope that was a little bit interesting for you. Those of you with a silhouette cameo, whoever wondered how you actually break up a, a, a graphic in one piece, for example, and as you saw, using the silhouette cameo tool there, and the grouping tool, we was able to group certain items there, move them off the page, and just cut the ones out we need. And you can even line them up using, the, you can put a registration mark on there or whatever, but there's different ways around doing it. Or you can have just an image of the actual item when you're putting the t-shirt together in the different colors and uh, lining it up, looking at an, a, a graphic of the actual image. So it depends how you want to do it at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's a customer's graphic already cut out and that's gonna be shipped off to him. So if you do like our videos, do have a look at some of the other ones in our playlist as well. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.